Chicky Art! Hey! Would you like to draw and paint a burger meal with me? Woohoo! Starting with the fries! The packet first and the fries themselves. Let's do two layers. Excellent! Showing some dimension and a smiley face. Yay! Now for the burger. Top part of the bun, some cheese, the burger, some lettuce and maybe a tomato and the bottom part of the bun. Smiley face, of course. Now for our drink. Our cup with a lid and a straw and some stripes to match our prize packet Woohoo! Ready to paint! Let's go for gold! Yay! And yellow for the first layer That's it, a little bit of variation there Let's go for some brown for the inside of our prize packet And red for the top and the bottom Ooh, lovely! Going for some yellow for the middle. Matches the fries, you know. Carefully painting around the eyes and the mouth. Almost there. Done! Pink for the mouth and the tongue. Yay! Go for the burger bun. Let's go for a nice pale gold kind of bread colour. Painting the top and the bottom the same colour because that is the bun. Yellow for the cheese and brown burger. Of course, it could be a veggie burger if you like, even chicken. We're going for a green for our lettuce and some red for our tomato or at least ketchup. You can put anything you like in your burger. What do you fancy? Yay! Let's go for a brown straw to match our burger and a gold lid. And some pink, yay! Now let's do the face the same colour as the top part. And some yellow for the upper and lower part. And pink for the mouth, woohoo! Amazing! There you have it, a gorgeous sparkly burger meal. Ooh, my tummy is rumbling already.
today we're gonna draw a pizza. So just draw a circular outline, but don't go all the way because we're gonna cut out a slice. Do a V, another one above that. And come round to finish your slice. And a double border because we like a nice thick crust on our pizza. Let's do some pepperoni. What's your favorite pizza topping? Maybe it's vegan pepperoni. Let's do some olives, black olives. Or do you prefer green? Maybe you'd like some jalapenos if you like it, huh? Some mushrooms. You know what else goes great on pizza? Peppers, I love them. Green, red, yellow and orange, all delicious. Right, time to shade the border in. Gonna make it a thick black border. Ready to paint. Starting with the crust, it's gonna be orange because it's lovely and golden from being baked in that stone oven. Ooh, all this pizza drawing and painting is making me hungry. That does look crispy, doesn't it? That's it, keep going, you're almost there. Brilliant, let's just do the edge of the slice now. Yummy! Right, what's next? How about the cheese? We're going to do it yellow, the traditional colour of cheese. Ours is mozzarella and cheddar mixed with gorgonzola. Maybe a little parmesan sprinkled on top. Do you like sprinkling parmesan on your pizza? Sounds strange, doesn't it? To add more cheese on top of cheese? But I tell you, it's fantastic. So this is the part where we really have to take care because whilst we're painting the cheese yellow, we got to paint carefully around all of our toppings. Circular shapes for our pepperoni. Then the oval shapes and rectangular shapes for our mushrooms. Small circles for our olives. So we're using a small thin tipped paintbrush for this. And if you have the option, you can always change up the paintbrush. Use the small one to go around the detailed areas where you don't want to go over the border, you know, over your toppings. And then use a bigger, thicker brush to cover more surface area more quickly when you are away from the danger zones. Keep going, you're doing really well. That's it, around your olive. Nearly there. This is the hard part done, nearly. And you're done. Brilliant job, well done. Let's do the pepperoni. A dark, reddy, pinky colour. And if you don't want pepperoni, they could be tomatoes. Perhaps that orange of the crust is our tomato sauce squelching out the sides. 
Mmm, yummy. One more. Brilliant. Now for the mushrooms. They're going to be grey. You could use any type of mushroom. Chestnut, portobello. Or just plain old simple mushrooms. And there you have it. A wonderful pizza. Now let's add that parmesan. A few splodges here and there. Shake, shake, shake. On our slice. And voila! You've done it. A pizza! Great job!
toothbrush and toothpaste. Hey kids, guess what? We're going to draw a dinosaur today. That's right. Ooh, let's start with the eyes. Two small circles, two little arch eyebrows, a gorgeous bobbly hat. Now for the main body. And the legs and the neck. Feet, tummy. There. A bit of detail. That's right. Good job. And some stripes on the hat. Rosy cheeks, smiley mouth. Nostrils. And you can't have a party without balloons because I think it's this dino's birthday today. Fantastic! There! A little bit of flowery detail. Wow, what would you like to put on your dinosaur? Maybe some hearts? Maybe some stars? Right, let's paint gold first for the bubble on our hat and now we're going to do the stripes multicoloured of course I do love his party hat red tongue turquoise for the last stripe now let's go for some pink rosy cheeks and flowers Next, for the main body. Do you know much about dinosaurs? Can you think of any dinosaur names? How about T-Rex? How about Stegosaurus? Brachiosaurus? Can you think of any others? Pterodactyl? There were flying dinosaurs, swimming dinosaurs, walking dinosaurs, meat-eating dinosaurs, leaf-eating dinosaurs, just so many different types. There. Gold tummy. And brown toes. We'll do yellow for the centre of our flowers. Right, time to colour our balloons. Starting with red. Ooh, lovely. And yellow. Hmm, what colour should we do our third balloon? How about purple? What a great colour. And done. And turquoise just for the finishing touches. Voila! You have one beautiful, party-tastic baby dinosaur. Ah! Hi kids, today we're going to draw and paint some of your favourite toys. Do you have a favourite toy? Can you guess what this is? That's right, it's a ball! All you have to do is draw a big circle shape and then decorate it with any pattern you like. We're doing some curvy stripes. The curves show the round shape of the ball. Red for the first stripe. What colour shall we do for the second one? Yellow! What a wonderful idea! That stands out really well next to the red. Now what kind of games can you play with a ball? Let me see. Catch? Football? Netball? Rugby? But that's a different shaped ball. Maybe even ping pong? What's your favourite ball game? Pretty pink stripe, lovely. Next we're going for green. We like variety. It could even be a ball ball hanging from a Christmas tree. Look at it sparkle. And we are done. Brilliant, well done. Next, we're going to learn how to draw one of your all-time favourite toys. Now, can you guess what it is from the outline? Just copy our shape. You can pause the video if you need to. That's right, it's a duck. Now, where might you play with a toy duck? In the bath, perhaps? 
Maybe it's one of those ducks that lights up when it hits the water. Maybe it's one of those ducks that squirts water at you. Gorgeous yellow with a pink wing. What colour would you like to paint your duck? Let's do a turquoise blue eye. And finally, the beak is going to be gold. Lovely. Quack, quack. Right, what's next? Can you guess what this is? I'll give you three guesses. Hmm. A pile of books? No. A light? No, that's not a toy. That's right, it's stacking rings. Did you ever play with these when you were a baby? They're brilliant. You get a big ring, a medium ring, a small ring, even smaller, 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 and you have to stack them in the right order. They're usually lovely rainbow colours. We're going to do ours nice and bright too. So we've got turquoise blue, followed by bright pink, followed by even brighter green. So you just do lots of long oval shapes with a triangle on top. Each one is smaller than the one underneath it. Yellow next. So that triangle at the top is the top of the stick that we stack our rings on. That's going to be purple. Almost there. Done. Excellent stacking rings. Next, I'm going to see if you can guess what this is. A circle, a rectangle, another circle with a smaller circle inside. Rectangle. Hmm, a circle there, a semicircle there, another rectangle and another. What could it be? That's right, it's a train. Do you have a toy train? Or maybe a train set. I love those ones that link onto each other. Even the ones that go on the wooden train tracks and you can fill the whole floor with train tracks. This is gorgeous red and green. Beautiful. What are your favourite colours? What colour is your train? We're going to use pink for the front. And purple! It's going to be our wheels. Round and round and round. Just the big part, leaving the middle part empty. The end is going to be purple too and a yellow window. And the back side. And the inner wheels too. And there you have it. A very nice, colourful train. Excellent! Last but not least, we are going to draw my all-time favourite. Da -da -da. It's... A rocking horse! That's right! Now if you find it a little bit tricky to do the outline, then you can pause the video as you go along and just do one bit at a time. Right, ready to paint? Starting with a gorgeous, natural, peachy, rosy colour, we're going to paint the main body of our horsey. Shall we give it a name? What do you think it should be called? Harry the horse? How about Henrietta the horse? What do you think? We're going to use brown for our wooden bottom part. That's the rocker that it is set upon. And the tail is going to be brown too. And the mane. So that's our horse's hair. Now we're going for purple. We're going to do a purple saddle. Lovely. What colour shall we do the eye? Blue. What a great idea. And yellow at the bottom. There you go. It's a beautiful rocking horse. Well done. Bye. 
Hey kids, today we're going to draw and colour some emotions. That's right, we're going to draw six different faces. See if you can guess which is which. They're so easy to draw. Each one is just a simple circle. We've got some oval eyes, except for the first one who's wearing oblong sunglasses. Mouths going in different directions, depending on the emotion. Eyebrows up or down, curved or straight. In this one, the mouth's wide open. In the last one, we've got one eye open and one eye closed, and the tongue is sticking out. Right, time to paint, starting with green. Now, which emotion do you think this one could be? Do you think it's sad? No. Angry? No. Maybe silly? Mm, no, I don't think so. How about... Happy! What do you think? Looks very happy to me. Let's just colour in the mouth black. Right, orange for the next one. Now, which emotion could this one be? It's definitely not looking happy. The mouth is turned down at the sides. Hmm. I think he looks pretty scared. What do you think? Black for the mouth. Next one can be blue. Now this one, their eyebrows are far apart. The mouth is turned down. Have you ever heard the phrase, I'm feeling kind of blue today? Well, this one certainly is blue because he's sad. Oh. Red for the next one. Have you ever seen red? What kind of things make your face go red? You could be sunburned. Maybe you're blushing and embarrassed or shy. I think this one is angry. Black for the mouth. Yellow for the next one. Hmm. Eyes wide open. Mouth wide open too. Which emotion could this one be? Happy? No. Angry? No. How about surprised? Yeah. Black for the mouth. Last but not least, I'm going for purple, my favourite colour. Now this face is looking super cheeky. One eye is closed, like it's winking at me. Sticking his tongue out, cheeky fella. I think this one has definitely got to be feeling silly. Red tongue. Finally the mouth. Some white paint to put a little bit of shimmer and shine on each of our faces. Which one is your favourite? There you go, six different emotions. Happy, scared, sad, angry, surprised and silly. Which one are you feeling today? Hey kids, how are you today? Ooh, fancy some cotton candy? Me too! Starting with the cotton candy squiggly lines. They kind of look like clouds layered one on top of the other. We're doing four layers and the cone, which is like an upside down triangle with stripes on it. And two circles for the eyes and a smile. Going for another one. This one's a bit more curvy. And we're just going to darken up the borders. Make the colour stand out then when we paint it. Wonderful! Let's go! Starting with a light blue for the top cotton candy. And pink next. I have to say I love these two colours side by side. Blue and pink. What do you think? Yellow next. An excellent choice going around the eyes. Wow, look at it sparkle. A gold for the bottom layer. Hmm, interesting. Around the smile. 
thick mouth and stripy cone. Every other stripe can be purple and the rest can be yellow. Hmm, let's go for pink cotton candy. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Let's do it all one colour this time. You could even do patterns on yours if you wanted. Hmm, a red mouth and some yellow stripes, alternating with purple just like the other one, but the other way around. And there you have it, two cute cotton candies. Ah. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art!